a lot of parties will um, stay silent, but I think it's going to be a very heavy and significant silence, and I think people are going to notice. With the start of the federal election, I'm taking to the streets to find out what Montrealers think about the campaign and whether Bill 21 will play any role in it. I hope the federal government can do something to help, but I don't know how much of the rest of the country would notice or care about the Bill 21 happening in Quebec? I don't think it's going to have any particular sway outside of Quebec. Uh, also in Montreal, I think, feel like Justin Trudeau's riding is probably pretty safe and secure. Idil Issa, who testified at the Bill 21 hearing, says the secularism issue in Quebec, where some public sector workers can't wear religious symbols like a hijab or kippah on the job, is the elephant in the room in the federal campaign. I don't think any of them are going to initiate that discourse, um, but definitely there is a movement to oppose the bill. But Trudeau, like other party leaders, aren't getting involved and leaving it in the hands of the province. And at this time, I feel it would be counterproductive for the federal government to engage in this process. But he's saying that it's up to Quebecers to make the moves that uh, the government uh, has adopted the bill and now it's being contested, so it's going to go through the various levels of government. They're watching it closely, but uh, they're not intervening. Something Issa says all parties should consider doing for our Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Those values shouldn't be some kind of Trojan horse that you bring in after the election, after you won. Uh, if you really are a party of principle, you have to lead with that issue. Meantime, Quebec Premier François Legault reiterated on Wednesday that party leaders should stay out of Bill 21's core challenge. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.